section 65 by sampayana said then indra had a consultation with narayana about the latter's descent on earth from heaven with all the gods according to their respective parts and having commanded all the dwellers in heaven indra returned from the abode of narayana and the dwellers in heaven gradually became incarnate on earth for the destruction of the asuras and for the welfare of the three worlds and then o oh tiger among kings celestials had their births according as they pleased in the races of brahmarishis and royal sages and they slew the dhanavas rakshasas gandharvas and snakes other man eaters and many other creatures and who bull in the bharata race the dhanavas rakshasas and gandharvas and snakes could not slay the incarnate celestials even in their infancy so strong they were janane jaya said i desire to hear from the beginning of the births of the gods the dhanavas the gandharvas the apsaras men ekshas and rakshasas therefore he behove thi to tell me about the births of all creatures why sampayana said indeed i shall having bowed down to the self create tell thi in detail the origin of the celestials and other creatures it is known that brahma had six spiritual sons vis marichi atri angiras pulastya kulaha and kratu and marich's son is kashyapa and from kashyapa as sprung these creatures on to daksha one of the prajapatis were born th- 13 daughters of great good fortune the daughters of daksha are who tiger among men and prince of the bharata race aditi diti danu kala tanayu simhika krodha prada vishwa vinata kapila muni and kadru the sons and grandsons of these gifted with great energy are infinite from aditi have sprung the 12 adityas who are the lords of the universe and ho bharata as they are according to their names i shall recount them to thee they are datri <coughs> mitra aryaman sakra varuna ansa vaga vivasat usha savitri tashtri and vishnu the youngest however is superior to them all in merit diti and one son called hiranyakashipu and the illustrious hiranyakashipu had five sons all famous throughout the world the eldest um, the eldest of them all was prahlada the next was sandrada the third was anurada and after him were sivi and vashkala and ho bharata it is known everywhere that prahlada had three sons they were virojana kumba and nikumba and on to virojana was born his son wali of great prowess and the son of wali is known to be the great asuravana and blessed with good fortune mana was a follower of rudra and was known also by the name of mahakala and dhanu had 40 sons o bharata the eldest of them all was viprachitti of great fame samvara and namuchi and polo man asilo man and keshi and durjaya ayasiras ashwasiras and the powerful ashwasanuks ashwasanku also kagana mrudan and vegavat and he called ketumat swarban ashwa ashwapati prishaparvan 
and then Ajaka and Ashwagriva and Sukshma and Tukunda of Great Strength, Ekapada and Ekachakra, Virupaksha, Mahodara and Nichandra and Nikumba, Upata and then Kapata, Sarava and Sulaba, Surya and then Chandramas. These in the race of Dhanu are stated to be well known. The Surya and Chandramas, the sun and the moon, of the celestials or other persons, and not the sons of Dhanu, as mentioned above. The following ten gifted with great strength and vigor were also, O king, born in the race of Dhanu, Ekaksha, Amritapa of heroic courage, Pralamba and Naraka, Patrapi, Satrutapana and Sata, the great Asura, Kavista and the Vanayu, and the Dhanava called Tirgajiva, and O Bharata, the sons and grandsons of these were known to be countless, and Singika gave birth to Rahu, the persecutor of sun and the moon, and to three others, Suchandra, Chandrahantri, and Chandra Pramardana, and the countless progeny of Kruva, Krodha, or as much crooked and wicked as herself, and the tribe was wrathful of crooked deeds and persecutors of their foes. And Dhanayu also had four sons who were bulls among the Asuras. They were Vikshara, Mala, Meera, and Vritra, the great Asura, and the sons of Kala were all like Yama himself and smites of all foes, and they were of great energy and oppressor of all foes. And the sons of Kala were Vinasana and Kroda, and then Kroda Hantri, and then Kroda Satru, and there were many others among the sons of Kala, and Sukra, the son of a Rishi, was the chief priest of the Asuras. And the celebrated Sukra had four sons who were priests of the Asuras, and they were Tashta, Tashtadara and Atri, and two others of fierce deeds. They were like the sun himself in energy, and set their hearts on acquiring the regions of Brahman. Thus had been recited by me, as heard in the Purana, of progeny of the gods and the Asuras both of great strength and energy. I am incapable, O king, of counting the descendants of these, countless as they are, are not much known to fame. And the sons of Vinata were Tarkeya, Tarkya and Arish, Arishtanemi, and Garuda, and Aruna, and Aruni, and Varuni, and Sesha, or Ananta, Vasuki, Takshaka, Kumara and Kulika are known to be sons of Kadru and Bhimasena, Ugrasena, Suparna, Varuna, Gopati and Dhritarashtra and Suryavarchas, the seventh, Satyavachas, Arkaparna, Prayuta, Bhima and Chitrar, Chitrarartha known to fame of great learning and a controller of his passions, and then Kalisiras, and O King, Prajanya, the fourteenth in the list, Kali, the fifteenth, and Narada, the sixteenth, these Devas and Gandharvas are known to be the sons of Muni, Daksha's daughter as mentioned before. I shall recount many others, O Bharata, Anavadya, Manu, Vansa, Asura, Margana Priya, Anupa, Subhaga, Vasi, or the daughters brought forth by Prada, Siddha, and Purna, and Varahin, and Purnayas of great fame, Brahmachari, Pratikuna, and Suparna, who was the seventh, Vishwavasu, Bhanu, and Suchendra, who was the tenth, were also the sons of Prada. 
all these were celestial skandharvas and it is also known that this prada of great good fortune through the celestial rishi kashyapa her husband brought forth the sacred of the apsaras alamusha mishra kesi vidyut parna tilottama aruna rakshita ramba manorama kesini suvahu surata suraja and supriya or the daughters and ativahu and the celebrated aha and uhu and tumuru or the sons the best of gandharvas of prada and amrita the brahmanas kain gandharvas and apsaras were born of kapila as stated in the purana thus had been recited to thee by me the birth of all creatures july of gandharvas and apsaras of snakes suparnas rudras and maruts of kain and of brahmanas blessed with the great good fortune and of sacred deeds and this account he read extend the period of life is sacred worthy of all praise and give pleasure to the ear it should be always heard and recited to others in a proper frame of mind he who do lie read this account of the birth of all i soul creatures in the presence of gods and brahmanas obtain the large progeny good fortune and fame and attain also to excellent worlds year after so and 65th section in the sambhava parva of the adi parva 